Xin chào các ban, annyeonghaseyo, hello. <laughs> we're surrounded on all fronts. Yes. Um, but we're at the beach, isn't that cool? Yes. I hope you can hear us. Did you Luna's got this? Luna's got a bind me. We've got coconuts to drink. Yes. Like coffee. I've got some Vietnamese coffee. It's a good, it's a good morning. It's such a good feeling to know that you're alive. Mm, like where we're so good. I really want to move here. I want to move to a place with a beach. I'm a beach boy, I'm a beach baby. I grew up on a beach and I need a beach in my life. Hello, I'm Luna. Today I'm gonna teach you how to eat a coconut. Fresh coconut. Step one. Step one, you see this white part? Use your spoon. Dentally to find the connection blitz between the white part and the skin of the coconut and then just push it. It's the meat, right? You call that the meat? Yes, we call that the coconut meat. Coconut meat. Vegan friendly coconut meat. Yeah. Oh no! Luna, you just destroyed our microphone ding dong. Oh, the spoon is not good for this because you need a sharper spoon. This is the best part. Oh my gosh. That is the meat of the coconut. You can eat that. It tastes real good. She tried to, look what she just did. She tried to sabotage me. She tried to feed me the pulpy wood part. Luna, I'm onto your schemes and evil deeds. You can eat that part. It's okay, trust I me. I hate that part. It's scratchy my tongue. You eat that part. Prove it. Prove your yeah. loyalty. I hate that wooden part. It's like eating wood. Claudio the NASACOM asks, is Vietnam still communist? That's a complicated question. Uh, theoretically, we still. Theoretically, they're theoretically they're still communists, but they're they're kind of like. Look up the Doi Moi reforms. They have they have a market. They have a lot of huge super corporations. But they also have socialist price controls. Mm. It's like I said on. Uh, I actually went on. We went on. Luna went on with me, and Luna actually was like on fire. If you have a chance to go watch this stream we did with Hassan, it was really like Luna did an excellent job. She she was like really on fire probably the best I've ever seen Luna in terms of like political discourse really? like you really were knocking it out yeah um, but the way Luna explained it is like the things that work really well in Vietnam are the socialist parts and the things that don't work well are the capitalist parts I, if, and if you want the deeper dive on that you can check out Hassan's stream it's very good Hassan asked a lot of um, questions about Vietnam really not yeah. we not not weird shit just yeah. questions about Vietnam fair questions yeah um, you know, and Luna did a really good job of kind of pitching in and doing the heavy lifting on that, mm -hmm. on those answers. Luna, I'm going to let Luna, <laughs> Luna, why don't you tell, a, tell, the, tell the kind folks at home what you think about the UBI? <laughs> I just like to watch Luna talk about UBI, so here's your platform, Luna. First thing, the only thing I want to express here, I hate UBI. Luna hates the UBI. I hate the I, reason why is like like I I think that the only the capitalists they agree with that and they are trying to fool us about the UBI because may maybe the the amount of money monthly that you can receive maybe at first it will sound very good like well we receive it one thousand bucks per month two thousand bucks maybe ten thousand bucks per month but the the but the real problem is you nobody promised to 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 control the cost for us right so if you have one thousand bucks per month or ten thousand bucks per month but the cost cost you 999 bucks. yeah what's the first thing that's going to happen if that's everybody if everybody gets an extra 500 bucks per month then the capitalists are just going to all start clambering for yes. that money so Especially rent's going to go the up renting, for your the phone bill is going to go up the internet the food if everything you're buying is capitalist Yes, they, produced, they then everything you that. buy is going to go up in price. Yes, because they only promise how much they give us. They, nobody promise how much how much they can take from us. Right. So America. So, so basically, here's the way it is. Already in the United States of America, especially, especially the United States of America is a reverse. It's an inverse socialist system. It's a system where the power and the ruling elites, they they siphon money from the poor and the working class to give to the wealthy. Yes. That's the way it works. It's. It is giving people handouts, but the handouts are all going to the wealthy. 
a UBI under a system like that is just going to be a more efficient way of siphoning money up to give to the wealthiest. The people who own the land, the people who own the machines, the people yes, who own the means of production. Well, just get as much as possible. The capitalists get the money back. So that said, so I personally, okay, and, the other, and then the other thing, this is like all repetition. We've talked about this before. Hmm. Just very briefly, the other thing I don't like about UBI is that it takes away our bargaining chip, which is the strongest tool we yes. have right now, yes. which is our labor. Mm. And then as we lose our, our the power of our labor, we become even more of a like peasant surf class. Mm. So UBI is a, is, a, is a track to feudalism, but mm. some kind of like neo-feudalism. Yeah. Where basically the, the land owning, pr means of production owning class will own you along with the house that you live in that they also own. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So all that said, I would prefer a jobs program if we had to choose between UBI and jobs. Program. I don't see them as mutually exclusive, but it's all like, it's all smoke and mirrors until we dismantle capitalism. It's all I rearranging totally deck chairs. I agree with the minimum wage, but UBI is not. Yeah, minimum, I mean, well, anything like this, like jobs programs, minimum wage, uh, UBI, all this stuff is like rearranging deck chairs on a sinking, sinking Titanic, which is capitalism. Oh my god, tuna oi! <laughs> tuna oi! <laughs> yeah. Okay, they want to hear them. Okay, here's the one that I usually sing. This is like my standard. Okay. Luna is a tuna, Luna is a tuna, Luna is a tuna. That's one, right? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Why are there so many songs about Luna? And why she is a tuna. Luna's a tuna. Oh, I forgot the rest. Um, have you heard the rumor that she is a freaking fish? So people say, and I choose to believe it. I know they're right, wait and see. Someday we'll find out Luna is a tuna. And she lives beneath the blue sea. <sighs> Luna's a tuna. Okay, this is kind of like actually more scary than it is exciting to me, but tonight I'm being interviewed by the New York Times. Mm. With the, uh, it's a... Uh, it's New York Times. The New York Times, which is kind of scary because they're well, kind of a... Yeah. They've, they've got some bad takes, the New York Times. And then I do believe that CIA will come after them. <laughs> but yeah, regarding the New York Times, as Guilherme just said, New York Times has very bad takes. So I'm a little worried it might be a hit piece. Or it might be like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? They might be trying to make us look foolish and ridiculous. So I'm going to try my best to not look foolish and ridiculous. So, yeah. Heavy Systems Incorporated says YouTube is a... So, I think you should um, uh, record the whole interview and then if after you... Oh, that's a good idea. The after you check their... That's a good idea. I should record it. article, you can just release your full interview. Brilliant, Luna. That's why I keep you around. That beautiful brain of yours. Um, no, that's a good idea. I'm going to record the interview. I wouldn't even have thought of that. That's a really good idea. Should we talk about our crazy cheap hotel? Oh, yeah. $13 per night here at our really nice hotel. Very clean, very quiet, brand new hotel. Good Wi-Fi. We watched a lot of DS9 last night on our big screen TV yes. via my Google Chromecast uh, mm -hmm. that I bring with me because I'm, a, I'm that kind of nerd where I bring my Google Chromecast to mm -hmm. beach vacation so that I can watch DS9 in the hotel room. Uh, $13 a night. Vietnam's amazing. You gotta come check it out. Socialist Price Controls, FTW. <laughs> oh, here we go, we're walking. Here's a sh shot of the place. I, I don't like the mise-en-scene of this tree. It feels like it's dividing us. Yeah, this part and this part. You stay on your side and I'll stay on my side. Yes, don't cross. Don't cross it. <laughs> this is like an old uh, sitcom episode. We're like the roommates. Do they have those in... They used yes. to have sitcoms where like, all right, draw a line through the room. This is your half of the we live stream. We draw a line in the classroom, our table. Like, <laughs> don't cross it. This is the boy's side and that's the girl's Super side. Super chat. Super chat? Mm hmm Have you ever seen Pan's Labyrinth? Oh, my, yes. <gasps> We love, love that movie. That movie. We, love that. we love that movie. Actually, did I show you that movie? I show you that no, movie. No, 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 no. I saw that movie like in the theater, opening theater. So, I showed it to you. So we watched it again t together. You never saw it before. No, I, I, I watched it. Oh, yeah, you saw it like without me. And then without you, you, you didn't know you saw it, I remember. And then you were like, oh, yeah, I have seen this movie. That movie's amazing. I love the way it depicts the fascist. I love, I love the way that the communists are the heroes. Everything about that movie is amazing. And the monster so scary. Yeah. The monsters are awesome. 
What's your favorite anime, Luna and American? I know my favorite anime and I can answer it in a heartbeat. Luna, what's your favorite anime? Inuyasha. Uh, Inuyasha. Inuyashi or Inuyasha? Yasha. Uh, my brother loves Inuyasha. That's something you guys can talk about when yes. you meet. My favorite anime, it's so bad, but I love it and I can't, I can't help it. Because I watched it at a time in my life where I was like, I watched it when I was like 12, 13, and it's stuck in my brain. It's Tank Police. Which, in addition to being like a ridiculous, over the top, Luna is so fascinated by the cat. Are you part cat? Have you ever seen a cat when you play the sound of a cat and they're like, mm. you just did that? Being like a ridiculous, over the top. Really? You have like the same amount of concern for another cat meowing as a cat. Can you hold that? Why do they keep going up there? Oh, those cats are really good at parkour. That was pretty impressive. They've got like a whole, there's like a whole herd of cats up there in the wall, living in the walls. It's amazing. I don't know how to explain this to you. You missed it. Everyone missed it. Can you talk about how American was a baby in Luna's video? I was not a baby. I'm a 35 year old grown adult man. And if you think that only babies have stuffed animals and like to hear bedtime stories from Luna, you just haven't lived, my comrade, and you need to experience more of the wonderful joys that life has to offer you, even in your developing age. Kitty, Fifi, and Bebe. And Twinkle. And Don't Twinkle. Twinkle. <laughs> um, all right, Luna, we've got three minutes left, so let's make it count. Come on, give us all your energy. Every, every ounce of energy you have left, pour it into this last three minutes. What do you want to tell our comrades? Oh. Have a good night, come back. And if you need a bedtime story, just go to Luna Oi channel. Check my latest video. Subscribe to Luna Oi. YouTube.com slash Luna Oi. Yes. Check out JBYC also. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will jump up into that stream, I think. Luna will probably co-op the stream with me. Direct action. <laughs> Luna's just going to direct action do a takeover of the show tomorrow at 9 p.m. Watch it there. Yes. Watch it live. And, yeah. Okay. Good night everybody and hope that we will continue being a nice person right i love you all all even though your communism or not you all right or not just be a nice person okay be nice to each other